Well, it seems like um, every day we get a new player in the fish product business, uh, primarily from China. A lot of folks are jumping into fish keeping. Some of these companies are brand new. Some of these companies have been uh, providing products to fish keepers for many, many years and just are opening up the USA market. Recently, I was contacted by a company that operates under the name uh, A Best Fish. A Best Fish. And uh, kind of a cool name, I guess. And they had some lights they wanted me to try out. I've tried out a lot of lights in the past, you know, uh, from uh, Beansworks to uh, Aquas to Higers, right, to JC and P's, and uh, they all have their pluses and minuses. But I've got to admit, this light that I just received is actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So this is the uh, Best Fish LED, and uh, they they call it a uh, a smart a smart light. And it's interesting the the bottom of it looks a little bit frosted when you look at it. it doesn't look like a conventional light at all. It is very very thin, as you can see there, as thin as uh, I would say as thin as as the Higers and other lights that I've referred to as razor thin in the past. It does have some very deep heat uh, dissipating wells. See these here, these, this ribbing, this, these uh, raised up areas. It's pretty deep, I'd say maybe uh, a quarter inch. So it'll dissipate heat very easily. But I've run it for a little while already and I didn't notice any, um, any warmth to the touch. So I think it runs pretty cool. And um, the only thing I'm concerned about, and may maybe that, that uh, isn't so much an issue because of the size of the light, this is the largest, the, largest, uh, the largest light that they offer. It is up to 55 inches. My only concern about it is that it is a 50 watt light, which is in today's LED world seems to be like a lot of wattage, but it, it's, uh, Comparing it side to side, you know, side by side with lights comparable in size. This one is the 48 to 55 inch model Smart RGB Pro Aquarium Light. Uh, it actually, uh, it's actually not that far off for the features it includes. Now, one thing I like about it right off the bat is it does have a hard connection. You see that there? That is a hard wired connection to the light fixture. So I don't like lights where you, the jack plugs into here because there's a chance that over time that's gonna get wet and you're gonna get corrosion. So uh, I like that feature about it right off the bat. And uh, it's just a rubber piece that is sealing it and keeping it watertight. Then you have what seems to be just a very, very simple on and off uh, switch. Now you probably ask yourself, wait a minute, uh, where's all the fancy bells and whistles that you normally see in lights these days? The answer is right here. Because with this light, what you do is you download an app. And I'll show it to you. This is the, uh, the Tuya T. UYA app and it has a whole variety of settings sunlight moonlight fish light ocean blue and it also has a, uh, a dim and color setting so you can set all your different color levels that you like so let's and of course the on off button so let's let's turn the light on you can see it's super bright <laughs> you know what instead of shining my uh, brightening up my face let's put it on the aquarium behind me and see how it compares to the aqua now i think what this is going to do is it's going to do a better job lighting the aquarium completely down to the bottom because it's designed for aquariums as deep as 40 inches or more 
and that's where you'll start to get into more of the wattage use. Let's go ahead and put it on this tank behind me as a test. Let's turn off the Aqualite. This is almost identical in length to the Aqua, to the Aqualite. I've turned off the Aqualite. Let's go ahead and turn this light on. So this is sunlight. That's the sunlight setting. This is moonlight. And this is what they call fish light. Ocean blue, ocean blue light. Sunrise, sunset light. So they have different settings here. You can have eight time settings where you want the light on or off eight times during the day. You can have, and there's also completely user defined. So you can go ahead and set each one up and customize it uh, right, you know, right, right on the right on the app. How bright can this light get? Here we go. That's pretty. That's pretty bright. Pretty bright, right in the middle. You reduce the brightness. That's twenty. That's twenty-seven percent brightness. Fifty percent brightness. Seventy-five percent brightness. Now this is red at fifty percent. Green at fifty percent. and blue at 50%. 75% blue, 100% blue. Equal amounts of uh, blue, green, and red, 50% brightness. I think that looks pretty good. This is a full spectrum light, so you can grow uh, plants. So it'll probably encourage algae growth in this aquarium, which I don't, I don't mind really that much. Overall, I think it's doing a job very comparable to the JC and P. And again, there's no heat coming out of it. Let's take a look at how uh, the JC and P light looks. That's the JC and P light, and you can see it's. Um, it's not anywhere near as bright. Let me, let me play with the settings a little bit. That's pure white JCMP. Yeah, that's about as bright as I think I'm gonna get with that one. So you can tell the difference. You have a lot more, a lot more power, a lot more lighting and certainly a tremendous number of options, including being able to set, you know, between six and eight different lighting combinations uh, throughout the day. So you can start off very dim and then work your way into a brighter and brighter situation, then dim out and then come back on later on in the day. I, my lights come on in the morning for a couple hours, two, three hours, then they come on in the evening for about three or four hours. The rest of the day, I leave, I leave the tanks dark, let the fish chill out. And I pretty much do that throughout the entire fish room. Yeah, so what I think I'll do is I'll leave this Tuya light on the uh, 300 gallon, I like it. Right now, I'm at about 50% on the color spectrum, including brightness. I can certainly brighten it, uh, brighten it up quite a bit if I want, as you can see. But I kind of like it a little bit dimmer than that, say about 50% seems to be enough. Now, if that means that it's using 50% uh, of the available wattage, it means that I'm really, I'm actually running this light at about, at about 25, maybe 25 watts or so, maybe 30 watts. Uh, if you're, you know all about electronics, if you have a dimmed LED, uh, mention in the comments, let me know if you think that that would produce 
a situation where you're using less watts. So there you have it, Best Fish RGB Professional uh, Aquarium Light. And I think, they, uh, I think they've got a good product. If you feel comfortable setting up an app on your phone, you're gonna have a tremendous amount of flexibility. I'm gonna put a link uh, beneath this video and you can go ahead and check them out on the web and uh, you know, make up your own mind, do, do a comparison, compare it to Hyger, compare it to uh, Beams, Beams Work and, and you know, Aqua and JCMP and other lights I've talked about in the past. But uh, it's, running, it's running completely cool. I don't think I've ever, I've ever used a light with that much flexibility. And that to me is, is kind of exciting. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk about lighting and filtration and everything else at the Saturday Cichlids and Coffee live stream. I hope to see you there. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel a little further, uh, hit, that, hit that, sub, that subscribe button, the bell, the thumbs up, the notification bell. Let YouTube know something good's going on. We're real close to 50,000 subs, getting real, real close. And, and to take it up even one step further beyond that, uh, consider becoming a member of the Patreon Garage Gang and uh, sign up for a monthly uh, subscription or monthly support of the channel. Starts for as little as $3 a month. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.